Did you know that your home's front door is responsible for how much opportunity and prosperity come your way? Watch this video so you know what to look for when you're buying or renting a home or just want to ramp up your existing entryway. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. The front door of your home is called the big door in Feng Shui. Energy, opportunity, and prosperity come through your big door. So use Feng Shui to welcome these things into your home and life. Here are a mix of common entryway must-haves and what to avoid. Yes to bright and open. Who wants to walk into a dark and cramped foyer? It makes people and opportunities run the other way. Ideally, your entryway is spacious and bright, inviting in energy and opportunities. Be sure it's uncluttered, and if it's in dark, install a motion light sensor. Bonus, if you have the space, create a seating area for guests and opportunities to feel welcome into your home. Yes to a door that opens at least 90 degrees. Make sure that doors open at least 90 degrees to take advantage of all that juicy energy coming in. Avoid placing mirrors or other furniture behind the doors. You don't want your opportunities to struggle to come in. No to windows directly across the front door. This means energy and money will come in and go directly out, and we definitely don't want that. Keep in prosperity with a planter table just like this. No to doors that open onto each other. In feng shui, doors that open onto each other are called clashing doors and symbolize arguments since doors are the mouths of the occupants. Try to avoid these door placements when looking for your next home. If you already have them in your home, contact me directly for a feng shui remedy. Yes to artwork and mirrors. These hanging objects will be the first thing you see when you arrive and the last things you see when you leave home. So make sure that what you hang up is something you love and makes you feel great. Just be sure not to face the mirror directly in front of the door as that would bounce the energy right back out and we definitely don't want that. No to facing a wall. Remember, big opportunities need space. We want there to be enough room for opportunities to flow in. If you have a wall near your door, contact me for a feng shui remedy. No to a staircase that is less than three feet from the front door. You want energy to flow in not too slowly and not too quickly because then you won't be able to capture it. A staircase less than three feet away from the front door will send the opportunities up and away, making it difficult to harness. If you have a staircase near your door, contact me once again for a feng shui remedy. In larger homes, no to three or more doorways aligned in a row. We want to avoid existing homes like this because this can potentially cause health issues. If your home has this, please contact me to speak about a feng shui remedy. With that guidance, now you should be an expert in welcoming in prosperity and opportunities into your home. Did you like this video? Please share with your friends, subscribe, or leave a comment or question below. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. And tune in next month for more feng shui real estate tips.